and uh, <clears throat> welcome again to uh, the next next part of uh, C programming tutorials. This is Shiv from Libre Programming. In this part, we will uh, look at uh, get C, get S, get care family of functions in C. And that is uh, single character and string input output functions. As uh, I had said previously also that these functions are very well documented. So you can see the description of these in the respective man pages. First we will see about double, long double and bool which I missed in my previous tutorial. So we can declare a double D like this and initialize it and then we have printf that is percentage lf and then we have long double for which we have percentage capital lf and then we have boolean b1 b2 b3 b4 and b5 with their values set to true false minus 5 0 and 7 now a boolean is always false or 0 or otherwise it will always be true to use true and false macros you need stdbool.h in stdbool.h these are defined as macros whose values are set as 0 and 1 so you will see that when they are printed as integers it will print 10101 now let us talk about our get c family of functions so to read the description I just type alt x man and it takes the default get c where the cursor is so you see we have got this so we have got f get c which will read a character and return its uh, integral value but the reading will be in the form of unsigned care and if a stream is a, a file stream then uh, if there is end of file then it will uh, return or if there is an error then it will return okay get c is equivalent to f, f get c except that it is implemented as a macro which can evaluate the stream more than once so you see get c is file pointer stream which is same signature as f get c then we have get care which is equivalent to get c std in that is get care will read from keyboard and then you can read the description of get s f get s and unget c now c get s actually takes a care pointer argument so you have a chance of buffer overflow because the pointer will be declared beforehand and the size will be fixed and get s will not uh, dynamically increase the size uh, uh, of that pointer so if you have got more input than that then it will uh, do a buffer overrun and that's a security flaw to avoid that you have got f get s it also takes a care point but you can say I want to read these many bytes it will read one less than that and then what it will do is it will replace the backslash n with zero and it stops reading if it encounters end of file or new line it will not store new line in the buffer oh sorry it, it will store new line in buffer and the terminating backslash 0 is stored in the last character of the buffer so for backslash 0 it reserves that one byte unget c is uh, somewhat uh, different unget c pushes c back to stream that is the file stream don't worry about stream think like a continuous flow of characters so it pushes it back to stream cast to one signed care and later you can uh, read it so it works like uh, uh, last in first out something like a stack of plates so 
the plate you put last you will get that first so i read a character here and then i put that now this little magic here f put c this is needed because say you input one character a and then hit enter so the enter causes nonsense to read that enter or backslash n i got this get c and then this i again print it out to std out so it will print that backslash n and similarly we have got put care get care n and then we have got this so you see and then we have unget c abc and then we put that back so let's see what happens when do we do all this so let's see this i'll keep this side by side to show you okay. let's go full screen and we should have minimized this okay so okay. So let's do a sample run. So you see the double and long double were printed and then the booleans are printed in the way I have told you 10101. So even minus 5 is nothing but false. Oops, sorry, minus 5 is also true. So anything other than 0 or false is true, that is 1. Now it is actually asking for this get C. So I say A. So you see, it has a hit enter, so it printed A. So this is where A is printed. But what happened here? What happened here is, it did put this, that is backslash N. After this A, a backslash N was printed because of this F put C. Now it is waiting for me over here for this get care. So I say B. So now you see, it printed B this is the keyboard input this one and then this one this b is actually the put care put care outside this get care and then the backslash n is here and then we have a b c which were sent to, to std in and then we get those in and put those so the order is reverse c was last to go so it came out first and then b and then a and then we have a and then I print backslash n. Now we have this character array of 128 characters. So it is waiting for scanf. Now scanf in its normal form will not accept x spaces in it uh, in its input. You see, it will print only shave. See? So in the next tutorial, I'll show you regular expressions of scanf using which you can limit what input you want to take and so that you don't receive malform input and uh, okay so we have more actually here uh, so what we can do is we can comment this out and I'll show you how these work get us and put us so I save this file and then I compile this And then I run this again. So it asked for first two, so I enter a b, and then it is waiting for this get s actually, because the backslash n of uh, c b a is actually read here. So I say shiv shankar. So you see shiv shankar is printed the entire uh, get s, but if you give more than one twenty seven, it will be problematic for get s. So to avoid that. What you do is you comment this out. Okay, let this be there, and we make this 12 so that I can show you the functionality of f get s, and then we have f get s and f put s. We need to compile again, and then we run again. So a b. Now we cannot input more than 12. You see. You see that R is truncated because it will read only 11. So that's how it works. Thanks for watching the video. Uh, see you in the next part.
happy programming.